Hi guys, in this lecture, we are going to learn how to create Bezier path shapes and how to convert their linear vertex to Bezier vertex. Let's draw a rectangle, but using the rectangle tool and ensure that Bezier path is unchecked. If I draw my rectangle, I will be creating a very normal rectangle. It's called parametric rectangle. It says a rectangle path one here and inside I have size, position and roundness. These are the same rectangles that we have seen before and we have worked on. But of course, these rectangles don't have path and don't have vertexes to animate. I will delete this path. I will use the shape tool, a rectangle again, and make sure the Bezier path now is checked. I will just draw a rectangle over here. Now notice it did not go to the layer and I don't see the anchor point of the layer yet. Of course it has one. I will open rectangle one here and I see path one. No more rectangle path one, but just path one. And here you are, it is exactly like the pen tool. It only has a path. Now this is very cool. And I have four vertex points. Let's choose our selection tool. I press V and shift the click. Now, I can move the vertexes, but you notice they are linear. That's pretty useful if you want to use them as linear. In our case now, this is not really what we want. We want to study about the vertexes. These are very linear. Fine. I will undo these two. To make them linear, that's very easy. I will come to the pen tool and choose convert vertex tool. And it's just English. It's so easy. Then I will select my path. I can select the whole path here and come and click on one of the vertex and you notice it's converted to Bezier and now I have the handles. Let's click on another one and another one. That's one way to do it. We could have done that before of them. Now I have the Bezier handles. I can use them to move the path or change the path. I will select my selection tool and look how what's happening now. They are you know, exactly like Bezier. So I have a rectangle that makes life easier. Instead of drawing it with the pen tool, I can change the way I want it. That's cool like this. But also I have another option. I will select the path again and select one point or all of them here. What will happen is you have the two handles. That's very true. Let's select the convert again. I can hold one of the handles from its uh, circle and you notice now you have a full Bezier that you can animate. So the handles have been broken or they're no more parallel and you can animate them the way you want. Now that will give you, you know, lots of power to animate anything you want and to make really quite some graphic. You notice that if I click again on the converted Bezier vertex, it will be returned to be linear. Here you are. This is back to linear, back to linear, back to linear. Cool. There is another way or so you can select all your nodes here and select the convert uh, tool and just click on one of them and all of them will become busy. Pretty practical, right? Cool. Let's take now a, a circle. A circle should be almost the same. Let's go to the circle and choose the ellipse tool, of course, and draw an ellipse here. And let's change the fill color to something dark blue, something like this. Yep, this will do, in fact, bright blue. Now, let's select our ellipse and look inside. We have path and we have path for the ellipse. I will go for with my selection tool, shift and click inside. But you notice in the case of the ellipse, it's already Bezier. It did not create them with a linear, of course, because an ellipse is rounded and there is no way to have them linear. It won't be an ellipse. It will be a square or a diamond, something like this. So here you are, you can manipulate your ellipse now and do it the way you want. Cool, guys? Okay, so let's make this ellipse somehow aggressive. Yeah, I like that. It's an aggressive ellipse. You notice the path around here. You can see it. Now, there is here the small square that is given a blue color. This is the color of the layer. You can click on it and change it, for example, to yellow. And here you are. The path now is yellow. You can see it. It's a yellow path. Cool. Now the border is white, of course, but if you click on it, the path is yellow. Let's do some animation in the next lecture.